a bit of uh, carring now former world champion Mickey Bastion and Peter Solberg will be the star attractions at next year's East African Safari Classic Rally which will count as the 11th running of the prestigious historic event Biasun, the, the revered back-to-back -back world rally champion in the 1988 and 1989 series, was among the special guests at the just-concluded African Mini Classic Rally won by Dutchman Ramon Voss. Mickey Biasun will be returning to the iconic Kenyan gravel as a race driver after 32 year hiatus since retiring in the last two WRC safaris in Kenya in 1990 and 1991 due to engine problems and an accident respectively. Peter Solberg on the other hand will be back in the country for the World's Toughest Classic event after two decades since retiring from the 2003 WRC Safari Rally Kenya. His son Oliver was part of the star studded Hyundai World Rally team in the last two WRC Safari Rally events in in 2021 and 2022. Solberg Sr. debuted in the World Rally Championship in 1998 and finished runner-up to Marcus Gronholm in 2002 and then became the first Norwegian to win the Drivers' World title in 2003. Biasian came to prominence in the early 1980s, winning both the Italian and European Rally Championships in 1983, driving a Lancia 037. East African Safari Classic Rally Chairman Joy Gosh confirmed entries of the two legends, adding that that their return will add the much needed zest to the main safari classic event in 2023. Gosh also confirmed the return of multiple Kenya motorcycle champion and retired rally driver Stephen Anthony, who piloted the Zero Car at the Mini Classic alongside newly crowned navigator champion Tosif Khan. Dutch Belgian crew of Raymond Voss and Stephen Pravot won the 2022 Mini Classic following the heavy five minute penalty handed to the top two drivers Baldev Chaga and Piers Dyking, who did to 13th and 14th respectively. You don't have to be a Kenyan to win this rally. There is no advantage for being a Kenyan. Yeah, we have a, a, a person from Belgium who came and won. He's, uh, you know, it just goes to show that it's an equal playing field for everybody. And that's what we are trying to bring back.